Okay, now we're going to talk about the bonded brake lining and riveted brake lining measurements on the PA state inspection. That would be the green highlighted fields under the yellow. Okay, that's where we want to make those documentations right there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but I'll demonstrate for you and we'll get it going. Okay? First things first, we have the brake lining gauge for bonded lining. Okay? Pretty simple. Squeeze it right in this area, it opens up. This pointer right here is the zeroing pointer, and I'll show you what that's for in a second. So, what you want to do with this? Take a brake pad, grab it at the edge, and zero the brake lining gauge out. So, this tip will be reading zero. Let's see if I can get that for you. Okay, once we do that, we're going to open the gauge even more and clamp around the brake lining material and the bonded metal backing, okay? And then we were going to come up with a number. That number is nine and a half on that. If you can see that, it's pretty tough to see. Okay, so we will round down to nine. Okay, we can double check it again on the other pad to make sure we have consistent numbers. And we do, that's like nine and three quarters on this side. Okay. So we would document this as we always do. We're gonna go, we're gonna round down when we have that. Document that pad is nine thirty seconds of an inch, just like that. Okay, red nine on the gauge that would pass as long as the pad didn't have any other defects or cracks or issues that would cause it to render it unsafe. Okay, that one does not. Just real quick, I would like to show you it works the same on a bonded shoe. You would just clamp it onto here. Find a spot right there. You would zero it out again. Okay. And then you would take it and clamp the tool onto the metal backing and the brake line. And take your measurement. On this one, it's right at five. One thing you want to do on shoes is definitely measure it more than once in different areas. That area right there is almost six, okay? Almost six, so it definitely changes, okay? So that's what you would want to do. On the riveted lining, any type of brake lining that would have these holes, with rivets in it, that's a riveted line, okay? You would want to use this different tool. You do not want to use the brake, the bonded brake lining tool. You want to use the riveted one. This is quite simple. What you want to do is measure it off the rivet head. So this is going into the hole, okay? And you want to press it down and make sure it is flush with the top of the line. Okay, then you would get your measurement right there. And move on. Right now I'm seeing that would be right at seven on that one. Again, you want to measure more than one riveted lining. So take a couple more measurements just to verify that. Seven. seconds of an inch. So you would document it like this. 
And that too passes our state inspection requirements. Okay, and that's how you fill out the bonded brake lining and riveted brake lining portion of the Pennsylvania State Safety Inspection Form.